Hey, what up? Back here at the Diaper Mouth Lab. This shit's starting to look like um Morton Downey Jr. studio and whatnot. But get a load of this. I want to bring y'all attention to this right here, right? Let me, uh, excuse me. Let me, all right. It's from the Black Sector Mafia page, a.k.a. Port City. He's the one that does all the writing on this joint, right? It says, what y'all think about a Black Sector versus Tone Space versus Port City? Ten songs each, a thousand on the line. Each artist out. Each artist out in 500. I guess each artist puts in um, half a G. Winner takes all. We can sweeten up the deal and also add a disc record in one record and nine real songs. What's your thoughts? Uh, vote, comment below. Now you can see I even voted as along with the rest of the uh, people that comprised 82%. Dope idea. 18% said, nah, don't do it, right? Now, before I before I, I go to the whole reason why I'm speaking on this shit right here, right? Um, around this time, probably a little bit after this, or during the, the same day, next morning, whenever it was, me and Port had a conversation on a little Facebook Messenger thing. You know, back and forth messages, couple audio exchanges, everything. It was real civil, it was cool. Yes, he reached out to me, right? As y'all know, just to backtrack, do a little bit of history he reached out to me once before but the 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 pattern here you know if you notice everything's following a pattern all this reaching out is after i speak out against the bullshit that i see him and all these other motherfuckers doing right and then he tried to like paint it see we did reach out to him yeah after y'all already did the bullshit i was talking about so so we, we're not even gonna go too far into that bullshit whatever whatever right but check this out we had a nice civil conversation I even complimented him on his music. I said, yeah, this actually a good, would be a good battle song for song. Out of all the motherfuckers, he probably has the, um, the tightest or the most polished, aside from my, yours truly, um, songs and shit like that. So I was like, yeah, it'll be a good battle, boom, bat, bit. And then from there, I was going on um, how I can make it even doper and put it on a much larger scale. You know, holla at people like Necro, Hyde. Um, I was going to holla at um, Immortal Technique, maybe get him to either judge or if it's not fair for him to judge since he know me, then at least to be um, a host maybe. Or, or, you know, just make the shit big. Get, you know, get some some name brand attention to this shit. Port could uh, um, big up his shit. I would even let Port and um, big up them other bozo motherfuckers. You know what I'm saying? I have a big heart. I'm a good person. It just is what it is. And I'm not petty. You know what I mean? But that's what we're going to talk about right now. We're going to talk about pettiness. Because look at these comments right here, right? Now, Black Sector Mafia, that commenter is Port City. Now, look at this. Professor Cupcake TV, a.k.a. the subtle black dick searcher. She says, hell no. Let Tone shine on his own. He's just that important. To which Port City replies, bunch of smiley face, halfway laughing faces and all that. Good points made, sis. So after all that conversation and all that, you know, chill, airing shit out, whatever, we didn't even really air out anything about the actual crux of the issue, but we were still talking civilly about um, producing something. Now, mind you, this was Port's idea, and I agree, it is very productive. You know what I mean? But after all that, this nigga replies to uh, this uh, black dick searcher, subtle one, not so subtle, really, and he has to say, good points made, says, so Port, this is why I get on camera. Yes, it's because I look good as a motherfucker, but it's also because... I'm genuine. I like people to see my eyes. I like people to read me. I have nothing to hide. So, Port, I'm looking in the camera. We could holler behind the scenes on the Facebook Messenger. You could even holler at me on the jack directly. I want you, Port City, to explain what is this good point that this bozo uh, broad has just made. Good point, sis. You see what I mean? Like, all of this follows this same bullshit-ass pattern that I'm talking about. And this is like all where it stems from. It's kind of like a, I don't know, like, and, and this is Port City to a T on some like, try to be cool with everything. Like he tries to be slick as a motherfucker. You don't really come off as slick as you attempt to be. You know, anyone with a slight intelligence or genes like myself, we're going to be able to see it. But you try to come off and, and, and just be cool with everyone and touch and reach everything. And then if someone starts screaming on y'all motherfuckers, then you'll reach out and try to smoothen it out. Yo, brother, nah, brother, why don't we do this? Let's do something productive, blah, blah, blah. But see what I mean? It's shit like this. Hell no, let Tone shine on his own. He's just that important. Ha, 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 ha. Good points made, sis. 
So you're going to have to explain to me what those good points are. You see, this is the whole crux. And this, this hits the very root of the issues that I've had with these motherfuckers in the first place. You know what I'm saying? I had, I had um, an exchange, an issue with the grimy nigga. The nigga to be talking shit about all them niggas, including Port City, right? Had an issue with him directly. And what do these motherfuckers do? What does Port City go along to get along to do? What does YJ's punk pussy ass sitting down take? What do these niggas go along and get along to do? To go along and to get along. They wanted to choose the path of what they thought would be the least resistance, right? So when um, L.A. was blah, 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 screaming his weak ass off and having his little uh, social gathering that he performs daily, blah, 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 screaming his weak ass off at people, these niggas are like, well, if we holler at Tone, that might make that nigga mad. He might scream on us. So no, let's just do path of least resistance. Uh, Dusty nigga says take him off song. Okay, yeah, you know, I'll just take him off the songs. Fuck it, Tone ain't gonna do nothing. He ain't gonna say nothing. I'm too weak. I, I, I don't want any abrasiveness or any resistance, so I'm just gonna go along. What does Port City do? Yeah, word. I'm just gonna go along too. You know what I'm saying? Fuck it. We'll snatch him off the songs and we'll replace him with this. We don't gotta holler at him. You know, you know, his girl said, uh, fuck all of BSM. And, um, Tone said that, uh, oh, I, he's holding down his girl 100%. So by proxy, Tone is saying, fuck all of us too. Yeah, I heard the song where he shouted me and he shouted YJ out. And he said, you know, he, he gave a nod to us and a salute to us, niggas. But nah, fuck that. That ain't enough for us to have an actual conversation with him and really see how he feels or respect him enough to really say, oh, yo, this is what we deciding. Are you cool with it? Can we leave you on one song? Nah, we don't got to bring the conversation to him him at all because this is the path the least resistance if we don't say nothing to him maybe he won't say nothing to us and this dusty broke nigga he ain't gonna get mad at us he ain't gonna scream with us yeah 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 let's just do that and shit like this follows that same bullshit ass sneaky conniving uh go along get along try to like just ease on into every uh situation and 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 try to do that like fake peace shit it, it follows that same bullshit ass pattern good points made sis and i didn't even see this one because i saw this a couple days ago um this is uh the, the 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 sneaky nigga the real la the nigga that be talking shit about port and why and all these other niggas right tone is trash don't give him the attention what's port city's response a laughing face right and this is after we done that. And this is only one day ago. That other one, the Good Points Made Sis, was two days ago. So arguably, we could say that might have been before we had our conversation. But it's still after Port City proposed this idea of us doing a versus. So if you propose the idea of us doing a versus, and this bitch says, oh, let Tone Genres only is that important. You say Good Points Made Sis. Doesn't that contradict your whole thing? Do you see how you just do that go along to get along where you don't even make sense within the own shit that you're proposing? You see what I mean? See what I mean about, about not standing on anything? Stand on it. You don't, you're not doing that here. And then after we have a cool convo and everything, Tone is trash. Don't give him the attention. Ha, 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 ha. I mean, what the fuck is it? You think I'm supposed to just sit here and just take that disrespect? That's why I'm screaming on niggas. That's why I'm screaming on pussy ass niggas like YJ that decides to go along to get along. That even when L.A. Will play this back on his own motherfucking show, pussy ass YJ won't even say anything related to it in the chat. LA's playing this right now. Bitch, I dare you to even type a, a, a motherfucking dot. I dare you. He's not going to say shit. Let me calm down. Because, you know, I'm, I'm, it's, it's, I'm passionate, right? You know what I'm saying? It's, it's that pussy canavan shit. Now, it's cool. I understand being cool and being peaceful. Believe me, I am very cool and I am very peaceful i understand that there's nothing wrong with that there's nothing wrong with that but that should not you know there, there comes a time you, you don't let that override respect for another man respect for your fellow people you know what i'm saying that's not supposed to override that or fear because you got some uh hot off the handle bozo ass nigga that can't do shit but bark he's in horrible health he eats mother the, the nigga looks like, looks, feels, and acts like pure shit. The uh, Lamar Dot Man, whatever the fuck his name is. You know what I'm saying? All he does is run his dirty, filthy, cigarette-filled motherfucking mouth. That's all he does. That's all he can do. 
He's weak. He's helpless. I ever get the opportunity, I'm knocking him right in his motherfucking mouth. No questions. Bang! It's ha- Let me let me calm down. I don't know if the if the opportunity presents itself, play this video back. So if I don't do it, I'm the chump. I'm the pussy, right? So I want y'all to play this video back if he's ever near me and I don't just wrong, rock him in the motherfucking face, right? So he so he ain't shit. He's weak. He's useless. But he's a he he he. Y'all niggas let him capture your heart just because y'all are the peaceful people that don't yell, that don't scream. So just because one nigga screams loud, you know what I mean? You figure Tone, Tone just be chilling. Tone is cool. Tone always been chill with us or whatever. So you know what? Nah, nah, we ain't gonna talk to him. We, 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 just, we just gonna, you know, go along with this nigga. You know, he got the show every day. We come, we chill, we, we, we all that. Nah, nah, he ain't worth um, bringing a conversation to. Nah, nah, fuck him. You know what I mean? And this is just an extension of that port city right here ha 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 good points made says you're gonna have to explain them points to me that's good right because basically what that uh uh subtle black dick finder is uh is saying she's trying to say that i'm not important enough the same thing that the dirty nigga is saying don't give him the attention when i made it clear to port now i i don't like to to brag or anything like that because it's not really on my own merit well it is on my own merit because being a type of person that attracts success you know there, there is something to pat myself on the back about but um you know i got connections i got necro i got a lot of people in the underground mortal technique my nigga care um the list goes on and on hide the whole uh i get uh sean Str i could get so many motherfuckers in on this that can make this versus you know a pretty sizable pretty big thing bring a lot of attention to people right and um this one nigga uh was saying yeah hey, tone must be on drugs or something no i don't i rarely drink barely smoke even weed you know maybe puff or two here and there but no i barely do any of that i'm not drunk because basically he was saying oh tone you got connections with niggas that are millionaires that got all these views that's doing all this big stuff why do you fuck with these little low life niggas or whatever whatever why do you even care why yeah, 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 yeah. you know what it is and then we look directly in the camera now a lot of self-help books and shit will 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 cover this topic and they will say to um basically to make friends with people that can benefit you you know what i'm saying but i'm gonna keep it a buck i've never done that even the relationships that i have with these people that are successful it all happened organic a lot of them magnetized to me due to just whatever the fuck but it happened organically so when black sector mafia started or the root of it port city dot man whatever the fuck his name is and um greatest in the world yours truly when we first got together it was organic i wasn't looking at it as something to gain la has no notoriety to offer port city has no notoriety to offer right shit me on just my own merit at the time had no notoriety to offer and i think both of them did it for the same reason it was just an organic thing so black sector mafia us coming together us making music and i will give everybody this i don't think anyone was looking to uh take advantage of the other or use another's connects for this none of them niggas ever asked me like yo why don't you all let necro blow our shit up yada 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 now in 2019 when i went on a couple tours i did promote the music and had the pandemic shit not happen I would have probably been able to keep doing that. A lot of shit went to a standstill. We don't even got to discuss that. But the point is, and I'll give all these bitch ass niggas that, none of them tried to exploit any connect. So I only say that to say that I felt that everyone else was being as organic as I was. Yeah, I could holler at the homie Necro and be like, yo, cut me 12 tracks for an album. I could holler at Hot. I could get a feature here. I could do this. I could do that. Sure. But... I just operate organically you know what i'm saying like if we chilling or something and um you know we just freestyling we rhyming i think of a song idea yo you want to hop on this blah 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 it'll happen like that now maybe that's a fault of mine not thinking to um uh of what people can do for you as far as friendship but that's where that came from you know what i'm saying and it also i'm, I'm gonna keep it a buck it also came because i also like to build with niggers i like to build with fellow niggers Straight like that. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep it real. The black aspect has a lot to do with it, too. I feel a certain camaraderie. I feel a certain uh, familiarity, certain similarity as far as, you know, where we grew up, where we come from. Even though Necro and them, them niggas and niggas, too. Projects, all that shit. Fighting 
harder than probably 90% of most niggas that I know. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it is what it is. But at the same time, the black aspect is a certain camaraderie, is a cer certain something that comes with that, a certain spirit, a certain energy as well. You know what I mean? And that's why, because it was so organic, right? And it wasn't any exploitive type of shit or anything. That's why, and I'm gonna admit this, I don't think I ever like admitted this to this extent. That's why it hurt, right? I'm keeping it a buck. That's why I show my eyes, I don't wear sunglasses, none of that. That's why it hurt. Boom, like a hit to the chest the first time I saw these niggas was taking me off of shit without even contacting me one bit. You know what I'm saying? That's why I'll get at a, a bitch ass nigga like YJ so hard. Because no matter how much I scream on that pussy nigga or Port City or a head honcho bitch ass nigga himself, it's never gonna even amount to even a tenth of how disrespectful and how, um, whether intentionally or not, how hurtful these motherfuckers were to me in the actions that they did. Now, I'm okay. I'm cool. Like I said, there was never anything. Now, granted, I ain't saying that us building, we can't turn it into something, but it's not like it's a big loss on paper. You feel me? It's not a big loss on paper. It's just that these were people I was building with organically, and I feel that they turned on me. And they disrespected these niggas. I just saw. I was browsing now. This page right here, this Black Sector Mafia page. They they had a whole thing, two, two hour thing, talking about the history of Black Sector Mafia and the issues with Tone. Ain't a motherfucker send me a link so I could like chime in or, or whatever, whatever. So on my own time, I listen to that shit. I might dissect or break that shit down as well. I don't know what the fuck they talking about. The thirty people that watch that, but I may check that out. But this is just me being real, this is me being organic, and this is me being honest about this whole situation. And to me, shit like this, hell no, let Tone shine his on. Good points made, sis. That's an extension of that. You know what I'm saying? After having um, a civil, cool, productive dialogue already. You know what I'm saying? So the next time me and Port have that one-on-one, -on -one, not only do we got to address this, we're going to have to take it from the beginning. We're going to have to dissect because I was I was willing to just leave it in the past and just, you know, still not rock with these niggas per se, but do the verses, whatever, whatever. You know what I mean? But no, now we got to take it back to source because now I'm calling you out for being a slick ass nigga. And in some ways, being a slick ass nigga can get you somewhere. That's why I said Port City should be the liaison of the group. Because he is the nigga that if there's someone that has an issue, he'll go with them and try to smooth shit out. And it's a lot of punk motherfuckers out there that'll just go along. That'll fall for, you know, the little numbing effect, the little calm down effect of, of him smoothing shit out and proposing this and that. And then behind his back, he could say, good point, sis, or, or laugh with two exclamation points and all that other bullshit. You know what I mean? I'm just a nigga that's being real. I'm, I'm not tolerating any bullshit. You know what I'm saying? When, when, when sh once niggas cross me and get on some dumb shit, why, why the fuck am I going to tolerate it? I'm still the same cool, chill person I am, but I've always been the person that'll look a nigga right in the eyes and get right in a motherfucker face as soon as a motherfucker's being disrespectful. You know? So, um, again, I'm not that important. Um, uh, don't give me the attention. Even though I'm the plug to more attention than y'all motherfuckers could ever imagine or dream of. You know what I mean? So let me know. I'll leave it alone. In fact, I'll highlight, you know, I need to highlight niggas anyway. Because I have a bad habit of um, not calling niggas in a long time. Niggas get mad, shit like that. I got to highlight my peoples just on some regular what up, how you doing. Make sure niggas ain't caught any virus or whatever, whatever shit. Anyway, I need to check on niggas anyway. So I could go the fuck about my business. What is to gain from this? A couple dollars, um, a crowd of maybe a thousand people. Yeah, Tone, you did your thing beating another little nigga. You know what I mean? What do I really gain out of it? What do y'all niggas gain out of fucking with me? I don't know. I don't want y'all to take a look at it and ask yourself. But to sum it up, it's that bullshit I'm talking about, and I ain't having it.